So last week, my dermatologist, my yoga teacher, my friends, everybody was talking about politics. Now I'm pretty adept at changing the conversation because I do want to preserve the relationship, even if we're on opposite side of the table. But Thanksgiving is around the corner and what happens if politics rears its ugly head right between the turkey and the mince pie? In this week's edition of an anatomy of a good holiday, no, how to diffuse those political conversations so you can stay focused on the reason that you have come together. So this week I'm offering two sets of scripts. The first one is, what if you actually genuinely are curious? Can you tell me a story that helps me understand how you came to believe that? What happens with this and why this works is because now this person has to offer context around how they arrived at the thing that they believe. But if you recognize the context, but you don't necessarily subscribe to their beliefs, that's okay. Number two script, tell me more. When you're genuinely interested in someone else's perspective, it automatically lowers the temperature in the room. That person might go from ranting and raving to actually talking about it. What happens if the conversation is like completely gone off the rails, the kids are under the table, and it's really gotten everybody on edge? Two scripts. Could I have permission to share my point of view? It's okay to defer on politics, but asking permission to be able to share your side of the story or your side of, of the thing lowers the temperature in the room. And for the final one, maybe we could revisit this conversation when we are both calm, because what you don't want to do is have anybody say anything at the table that they're going to regret. Every Thursday, I published the anatomy of a good no, and I've organized all of them in my digital community so you can refer to them when you need them, preferably before you sit down at that Thanksgiving Day table. All you gotta do to get the link is click on it down below.